What is going on YouTube? It is Flopfish here and uh, welcome back to a new series of BGM Fantasy Draft and the last one got really stale after a while and so I decided to freshen it up a bit and we're doing a five year draft again. This time it's Fantasy Draft and this time I get to pick my first player and then sim the rest. So I only get to pick one player here. Gonna make that pick count and then it's just gonna be whatever I get given to me. I have to deal with it. So we're going to go in here and we're going in medium again because like I said before, hard's just um, not as fun. And oh yeah, this is also only a fire team. So we got a fifth overall pick here, not bad. Uh, so Crosby, Petrangelo, Stamkos, Ovechkin, Taze. Wow, Petrangelo got taken pretty high there. That should leave some pretty good players for us here. So we got a choice between Malkin, Tavares, Latang. And Giroux. Giroux's not bad um, at all. So let's start by overall here to see potential. So we got Latang and Giroux. Giroux's younger than Latang, so I'd probably take him. Then we got Malkin at a 91 and 5, so he'll probably go up a little bit. Uh, Datsuk's not bad here either, but if we're doing this for five years, we're going to want someone on a decent salary. Um, he's going to be signed for at least a few. And Kovalchuk's not a bad pick. Um, but ultimately, Tavares on a six-year deal is a pretty dang good deal, if you ask me. Um, so I think we're going to take John Tavares here, and then we're just going to sim the rest. So just simming the rest of the fantasy draft and not knowing who we're going to get here. This will be pretty interesting. I uh, haven't done one of these before ever. And so besides that, you know, it's going to be fairly interesting to see who's going to lay the Washington Capitals. To victory so let's go ahead and let's go all the way back through our rounds here uh we are at round two so we oh wow we got sagan in the second round everly in the third round all right not bad jomerson in the fourth not bad callahan in the fifth volkun in the sixth so volkun's our goalie uh Kuliman in the seventh wisniewski in the eighth uh McQuaid in the ninth stole in the tenth Count in the 11th. So lots of good picks here. Uh, in the 12th, we had him again. Don't mind that pick. Verbata, a little bit weaker there. Uh, Green, eh, not crazy over that pick. Uh, clearly, clearly, nah. Once again, not exactly crazy over that pick. Uh, Smith, probably a prospect. Oh, we got Tokarski. There we go. Great pick there. Uh, Brennan's a good pick. Uh, Saganetti's not bad. Um... Jones, meh. I mean, could have gone for your youth there. Maroon, meh. Bork, okay. Um, Wondell, not bad. I would have rather seen, like, James Wright. But, um, yeah. Uh, Lawson, skin. Get into the prospects here. So, uh, see what else we get. Ekholm, not bad there. Uh, Byron, Caputi. Uh, McKeever, LeBlanc, Garbett. And Jean, and then back to Tavares. So Carlson went 25th in the 25th uh, slot there. Who were, where did, Malcolm went 10th. Wow, that's kind of interesting. So uh, see what our team kind of looks like here. So we have actually a lot of cap space available, but looks like we have a fairly solid team overall, actually. Um, lots of younger players here. We're, what's the contract length here? Do we get contract length? Uh, years left, so... Uh, Everly, Sagan, Tavares, and Wichinewski will be on the team till the end. Um, unless I decide to get rid of them, because they're all signed on for five or more years. And then, it's so not bad here. Um, not bad at all. I don't mind this. I don't mind the team melt look, so, and then let's look at the goalies here. So we got Tokarski, a little bit weak in net, but whatever. Um, the rest of the team looks fairly solid here, so, uh, just fix the salary caps up here and we're gonna go ahead and go in and I think what our first step is going to be kind of viewing our lines and seeing where we stand and then I don't know if we want to beef up in the first year right away or we might just sim a year and see what see what the outcome is because I have a feeling this could be an okay year we might not get a high draft pick and or we might get a high draft pick which I'm fine with in the first year um, yeah so Let's see here. Let's see if this loads. It could take a little bit here. So, uh, new BGM here, and then we'll just call it uh, Fanta. We'll just call it. Uh, I want to 
gonna go caps. Fan Sim. Alright, there we go. And I had a request to play in this, and the reason why I don't play a game in it is just because I'd rather play a game in Hut than a game in be a GM. Um, if there's any team I'm going to play a game with, it's going to be with my last team because it's fairly stacked. So just love that save file loaded up. I might play a game there quickly and just upload it for you guys uh, just for kicks there. Uh, might get to a cup final and playing it. It's because I think that'd be kind of cool if I could somehow get to that in the Coyotes one and revisit that once. But um, So let's see. Let's just wait for this to load in here and... Uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to check around the league and see where, well, I know Ekman Larson would be a player I'd like to target, but um, I think he'll have a pretty high trade value. So um, I'm actually fairly happy. Like I said, I'm fairly happy with my team. So let's go into coaching options and let's view the lines in the NHL here. So we got Everly, Tavares, and Callahan. That's not bad there at all, actually. Um, then we got Kuhlman, Sagan, and Verbata. Once again, fairly good line there. Fairly good second line. Um, Kuhlman, I wouldn't mind getting an improvement on. Then we got McGinn, Stoll, and Cleary. All right. I'm pretty happy with that line. And the fourth line, Smith, Jones, and Maroon. Not great there. Defense, actually fairly solid. Um, I know the back end's a little bit weak in Saganetti, but he should improve a lot. And then, so we got a fairly good two line, good two lines there. And yeah, so fairly solid. Um, let's go ahead and let's check free agency right here. Um, GM options, uh, free agency, uh, free agents. Let's just see who's out there. So you can come in and help us kind of fill in a, see if there's anyone with potential left here because there's always people with potential left here. And looks like Morgan Riley has is left here in Kucherov. Um, so I think we're going to sign, uh, let's sign Kucherov here, and then, so let's go, let's put him on a three-year contract at that price. Um, actually, I guess that's as high as we can go. Let's go with a one-year contract. Let's just offer him and Riley exactly what they want here. Uh, let's go three years. We'll go max on Riley here. We'll give him exactly what he wants. Um, and hopefully he progresses the same as he did. And so we'll give him that. And then we're going to give Kucherov exactly what he wants here. And then let's see who else is here. Reinhardt, meh. I mean, we might as well sign him. I mean, they're not great overall. So there we go. We'll give him three years. So there we go. We just locked up three really good draft picks right there. And I think that's all we're going to do because anymore I'd kind of feel guilty doing. Um, so that's not too bad there. And then goalies. Let's see if there's any goalies here. Because like I said, I do want to pick up another goalie here. And um, you know what? Let's sign, let's sign Suba into a minor league contract here. Um, three years. There we go. Alright, so that's all the signings we're going to do here, and I think that's all we really need to do for the first year, so I think all I'm going to do here is just sim sim kind of through the first year and see what we're left with. So 42, 42 games here this year, uh, that's all we need to do. Uh, shouldn't be too hard, uh, in my opinion, should be fairly easy actually. Uh, actually, you know what, it'll be interesting. I don't know if we'll really meet expectations in the first year, uh, now that I think about it, but Bacchus is already injured. Um, let's see here. So I really don't know what to expect from this team. The top two lines are really solid here. Um, he accepted. He accepted. He accepted. All right, that's not bad there. So we went. So we went three for three for four. We didn't get Subban, but oh well. Um, we got Reinhardt, Kacharov, and Riley. So fairly solid back end there. And then yeah. Um, so fairly good there. Let's see. Let's just let this sim. And once again, simming's kind of the slow part here. So we're just going to sim through the preseason. We're already nine minutes into this. And like I said, we got a fairly solid team. Um, so just it'll be kind of interesting to see where everyone ends up here. But ultimately, I think it's just going to come down to the draft this year and to see how many cups we can win based off that. 
Um, so yeah, all I'm going to do is just going to put the game onto sim mode here. Uh, I might just turn waivers off for the time being. Actually, probably not a good idea. Um, because I was going to go to sleep, but I guess I'll just sim it in the morning once it's all sims. And like I said, I don't know how the team's going to do, but uh, it should be fairly interesting once again because we do have a fairly even roster. Like, we have a good prototypical, like, on-paper roster between um, the first line. The first line's fairly solid. I like Tavares and Eberle together, um, although they both are kind of the same play style. Um, the second line, I'm not a huge fan of Kuhlman, but I think we'll be able to replace them. And then the third line is a very, is a very good checking line, and the fourth line is kind of the rookie line. So defensively, not much to complain about, but we'll see. I mean, like, Tavares is probably going to put the team on his back, and Callahan's pretty good on the first line too. Uh, Braid's not bad. Um, Jalmerson's pretty decent. So once again, lots of really solid players in here in my opinion. And enough to make a decent run, but enough to, you know, um, we're going to need to stay healthy in order to make that run. We need Tavares to stay healthy, and that's going to be the key in this. So, yeah, um, let's see here. Let's see. That, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, as this loads, it's, like I said, it takes forever to sim here. It's kind of... It's kind of um, it's kind of a pain simming. We went three and one in the post or preseason, so that's a good sign. Um, yeah, let's see here. Let's see here. All right, continue. I know we're well under the salary cap, so Vokun's actually back with the Capitals. Um, he thought he was gonna, you know, sign with the uh, Penguins, but nope. Fantasy draft. Your plans are ruined. And then, so yeah, this one's going to take place now. And then we're going to start up a Canucks one um, at the same time. So it's going to go both this and the Canucks on the same day starting on Tuesday. And then probably alternating every day of the week here. Um, just because, you know, I think it's probably the best way to do it. And yeah, so that's pretty much where we are here. So let's go ahead, once again, take a look at our... Um, lines here so let's view these lines here and then the nhl um so yeah sagan on the second line as a center with verbata that's a fairly solid combination they should be able to bring sagan up enough um defensively you know nothing huge there um let's see here let's go look at our ahl lines see if we have anyone in there that's really maybe garbit um defensively you know mckeever um, Ekholm could be good, and then see if, who's our goalie in the minors. Uh, Lawson, so, you know, not horrible, not great, but once again, got got stuck with the hand we were dealt, and I think this will be fairly interesting, just because we only have five years to turn this team into, and to win as many cups as we can. So now we got some trade value off our players here, and yeah, that, this will be fairly interesting. I'm quite looking forward to this, actually, so... Um, anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed the first start of this video and there's a lot more to come here. We got a lot of salary cap and that's going to be a good thing. And anyways guys, as always, take it easy and peace out.